Well, that is unfortunate for Merwald. But, like we said, yes. it's honestly probably a mercy for him. Oh, he has a grimoire. The sickly sweet smell of rot rises from this half-eaten fruit. Yeah. I'll see it done. The yeah, mechanics is higher than three. It's finished. I'll see it done. In fact, I think it's higher than four. It's finished. All right. Now, looks like we actually have a level, and does that mean we have a com Yeah, he wants to talk to us. That's cool. Um, after we take care of both of those, it looks like there's more to explore here before we go back to talk to the throne. He has quite a bit. Um, well... It's always nice to have second wind. Okay, so every point raises the amount of endurance that recovers by by five. So very diminishing returns after the first point. Um, more stealth would be good, of course. And mm, does he really need lore? Perhaps not. Though his only his weapons are guns. Or is a gun at the moment. Maybe being able to use scrolls would be nice while he's chanting. Well, for now we'll leave him at five stealth. Save the points. Alright, now I under understand this goes a little better. Uh, phrases. The ones we can use to create our um, constant chant that allows them to use the invocations. So this one generates a field of terror. Oh, these are level two. I don't think we had level two before. This causes your foes to lose endurance. Constantly. Oh. And this one causes them to do less slashing and piercing damage. And both are pretty good. Um, okay, lasts a while, but has a pretty good linger as well. So, well, foes are frightened. It doesn't seem to have a saving. Th they don't. They don't seem to get a saving throw against it. Or they're not telling us what it is. If that's the case, that's especially good, I think. That they're no matter what frightened. As long as they're vulnerable to frightened. I might pick that one. Let's see. One dozen stood against the power of the saint. Decreases the duration and defends against frightened and terrified for allies. Plus 25 defense. Only against frightened attacks. Wait. It says against frightened attacks. Attacks that cause frightened or attacks by enemies who are frightened. Because if the second, then that would go really well with this one. I think it's the first, though seems it's protecting you against attacks that cause that rhyme and frost followed the footfalls of Karth drop trap rhyme and frost trap per three seconds hmm I'm gonna be sure handed Ela knocked her arrows with speed reload speed plus 25% plus 28% range of attack speed all that would go well with both him and Gwyneth with her bow. 
That's tempting. And then, of course, the fox from the farmer did run and leap. Which just allows us to disengage easier. I think I'm going to go with the sure-handed. That one synergizes well with our team. It's actually, yeah, because basically everyone but uh, Edir uses ranged. Very nice. Right, let's talk to him then. Poor Mayorwald. He couldn't contend with all that he knew of himself. A cruel fate. Yeah, I fully agree with you, Kana. It was quite cruel. He was weak. I won't end up the same. That's that's a mean. I don't. We don't even know him. And honestly, having especially depending on how it went, the entirety of your past selves suddenly awakened in your mind. Oh, it's hard to even imagine what that would be like. Hmm. I don't think knowledge was the problem. He said that, that if I can find out what caused this, it might help me. Maybe. Seems better to stay ignorant of some things. Yeah. But yeah, no. I don't know that knowledge was the problem. That is true. And there is no such thing in my experience as too much knowledge. He smiles. Come, we'll find your answers, and mine, I hope. You should tell me what it, uh, you might have mentioned it already, what exactly yes. it is you seek. A worn book lies on the table, its pages filled with nonsensical scrawls. As you wish. Hmm. Let's, um... Oh, did we see something? Let's, uh... Hello. There we go. Hello? Don't shout too loud now. Oh, lovely. Uh, can we just launch a fireball right now? <gasps> oh, we can? How may I help? Yes, please. There's only one way to handle spiders. So does... Okay, yeah, the red is the normal range and the yellow is just the enhanced range. It's not like an area of lesser effect or anything. Uh, nice! All right, get out of there. Everyone else? And... Go after him. I actually have to set up his chance later. Um, let's get a. Ooh, that's that's new. Right. They mentioned we got that speaker to the restless. Accuracy forty-seven. Two per rest. The watcher speaks directly to the souls of his or her enemies, filling them with dread of what awaits them in the wheel the afterlife or rather I think they probably call it the wheel because of the cycle of rebirth for souls so it causes them to be frightened for 13 seconds okay shall we try that no nah, not at the moment Let's just go with a, uh, electricity. Okay, it's almost dead. Good. Oh, what was that? Someone got, uh... Someone got tri- Oh, Edder got, uh, bound by the web. I see. Makes sense. Um, well. All right, let's let's try it. So much. Okay, looks like it actually hit all of them. 
Oh, and interrupted them too. Nice. Two hits and one crit. Oh. Now that we really didn't need to do that, probably. To be successful against them. Oh, wait a minute. That aura there. It, does that linger there for... Is that the effect from yes. the spell I used? Oh, no. Maybe it was uh, Kana. What is it? Yes. Speaking of which, um... Let's edit his chance. Um, no, 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 I wanna, I wanna see what it does again. That one gives us fortitude and will. Plus movement speed and reflex, no. Foes minus 10 concentration. Let's, um, Start with you, and then perhaps yeah, the fortitude and will maybe, or the movement speed and reflex. This will work well. It uh, lasts. It only ch it lasts for the duration of the first chance. So I imagine this will also roll over into the next here. What should we call it, though? Sure-handed, followed by at the sight of his enemy, of their end of comrades, their hearts grew bold. Reign of fire. I don't know. Something. Let's actually start using that one too. Yes. Yes. Oh, a venom sack. As you wish. I'll see what I can find. Oh, ring of unshackling. Grant suppress affliction to rest. Hostile effects suspended over five seconds. Oh. That, um... Do we have a ring slot? Anyone? Yeah, you do. I swear, I hear something scurrying about. Cobblestones and bricks are bound to the rusted old cart by thick spiderwebs. Oh, lovely. Ah, it's a... What the hell are you doing here, Shower? There's a bunch of them over here. I mean, sure. I guess. Why not? Eh, we don't need to use... Not against Showerups, any of those. Where do you think you're going? Shoot him. There we go. Well, ah, we still hear the chanting, though. Oh, heavy iron key. This heavy iron key has an Adarin stamp upon its handle. The handle is coated with a, a layer of rough layer of rust. Oh, what the? A shimmering wall of energy extends across the doorway like a curtain. It repels forward movement with unnatural force. As you wish. Well, at least now we know what the sound was. That's interesting. Sure, it'll unlock eventually. Keeping an eye out. Oh, just in time. I 
actually doing pretty good on the uh, stealth front. Good. Um, do you want to use another fireball? Or should we wait for them to uh, get closer? Hit three of them at least. There we go. All right, as long as they'll go to you, we'll be fine. Um, actually, you know what? There's a lot of them here. Why don't we? You won't hold me for long. Uh, did, did you use it? Kind of stuck over here. There we go. Uh, Aleph, give me a, uh, combusting wounds, maybe? Right there, if you would. Endurance, um, you don't have any third level spells left. Iconic projection, I guess. Oh, they were all immune to something. Probably the binding web. Where are you going, Spiderling? All right, let's um, let's get that. Yes. Hello, Aloth. Right there for me. How may I help? Good. That one's down. That one's almost down. Um. Yeah. All of you. Attack this one. So much for there we you. go. Well, that went smooth. God, I hate spiders. A regular sword? Oh. oh boy. A stone beetle. Of course. Let's get a closer look. Shh. Um, the wood beetle. That is a giant beetle. Thankfully, it's not a spider, though. And I don't care about non spiders. get another one in there they are durable though I'll give them that let's go for another and why not let's go for burn damage on the wood beetle Let's get really close for that. Oh, yeah. Really close. There we go. Cut their carapaces, shells. This poor sod. As you wish. Um, this is looking like an underground mine almost. Keeping an eye out. Let's save. Oh, there's a another spinner. And a 
Widowmaker Spiderling. That, uh, I don't, oh, it looked like I had an egg sack on it or something. It's just a rock. Well, how may I help? Indeed. No, no, don't get closer. Hey. Oh, fuck that. No. Oh, ah. Uh, uh. Have I saved? Oh, yeah. Let's give ourselves a uh, holy power. We definitely need some resolve right now. Well, no, actually, I need something better range than that. Blessing. Let's go for blessing. Now this one doesn't work so well when he's. Its range is just not far enough. Being in the thing, Defender might be better. Luckily, we can switch. Right, we need. What's your guys' will? 19 ish, maybe? 27? Maybe I can, uh. I was going to say dominate Puppet Master, but... Let's actually wait a bit. Get them closer. There we go. Oh, now I have Dominate Puppet Master. 20.8 seconds. Oh, yikes. Okay, it's ours now. Now start attacking. Ah, it's so horrifying. Just keep it off screen. Let's get a holy aura. He needs the healing bad. Oh, um. We could really use black in sight right now. Against that. Ah. Uh. Okay, good. Got a good number of them. Alright, keep uh, attacking these ones if you would. In fact, you know what? Right there. There we go. Shit, his health is really low right now. Spider Queen is doing fine too. What is it? Most oh good, the spider spear spider is distracting the spider queen. Not too alarm. And another one of those, if you would. Oh, you have your invocation now. Um, a shroud, um, spider skellies, maybe. I wonder which one is actually better. This only does a single phantom, but this one does multiple skellies. All right, you three, attack. Oh, it's near death. Oh, thank goodness. How are you failing to hurt your spear spider, spider queen? Kind of stuck over here. Uh, uh, uh. Please disappear. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll look at that later. What is it? Ah. Uh, all right. Save and reload. Maybe this bodies will disappear. 
Thank goodness. I needed that. Weathered and covered with a dull patina, this elaborately carved pillar appears far older than the surrounding structure. Interesting. Hello? Hello? Where is this going? Um. Well, this looks interesting. Huh. Stairway to somewhere. Endless paths of Odd Nua, level one. I think this actually might be a mega dungeon. And that seems like it's probably to the next level. Oh, um, that weapon we got. Not that. Where is it? Oidracht. It's a stiletto. It's fast, which is nice. 3 DR bypass is nice. 20% damage restored as endurance is nice. And plus 15% damage. Once belonged to a prominent military instructor in the capital city of Edir. The instructor was a cipher. Oh, whose gifts were seldom used by his emperor em empire. And he grew frustrated at his superior's inability to see his potential of ciphers to perform key missions that no other force would be capable of. I feel almost obligated to use this weapon now. He began making his opinion known. And over time, the opinion became more subversive, uh, more subversive and radical until at last his unsanctioned activities got him charged with treason. Oof. The officer and crew that came to detain him, however, underestimated him as much as the Empire had. With only his blade and the talents of his mind, he slew his would-be captors. Uh, that made him a felon, I'm sure. He fled the city and embarked on a life as a duelist, obsessed with proving his potential to any who would question it. In the end, his life ended in the manner that uh, the lives of duelists typically do. Dead in a duel. And the potential he often spoke of would remain just that. It still bears his psychic imprint, and the wielder will often get flashes of the maneuvers the original owner performed in order to deliver the killing blow to his opponent. Some regard this as a curse, but many find value in it. And use such experiences to better realize the knife's potential. Were not for evidence of heavy use about the handle and pommel, Audric would seem new, its cutting edge perfectly beveled and honed without a single nick on its along its length. How does it compare to not the warbow? Gaon's shear. They're both fast. Both about the same damage. It's one pierce for the other crush. Both have, uh, or no. Both have the damage restored as endurance. But this one is fine, so it has the extra accuracy and damage. This one is enchanted. With damaging one. But, yeah, the, I... I I still prefer the grazes converted to hits, I think. Especially with the extra accuracy, too. And the fact that this isn't actually faster. Yeah, we'll, get, we'll stick with Gon's share. No, prisoners! no, we can't go through there. Thought we'd just step over there. There we go. Uh, more spiders, of course. Where are you going? Back here. Give me a... There you go. Shock their souls. We really need a rest, though. 
Um, give me Minoletta's missiles on one of them. There we go. Give me them uh, again on that one. Divine Retribution on it as well. He's currently reloading. Can't use it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, why? Uh, Soul Shock. Oh, I was trying to use it on myself. What is it? Oh, will not be hurting for spider materials for a long time. Wood beetle. Oh, no. They got something on them, too. Um... He has a 98 HP left, or... I'm gonna need this in a second. There we go. Damn it. Kana, out of the way. Attack the stone beetle. Alright, she can't get through. Aloth, are you still casting? Yeah. Now that you're done. There we go. Now give me that soul shock. Yes. Good. Give me another one. Aloth. Arcane Force. Or Assault. He has two chance almost there. Go ahead and f finish this one for me, Gwyneth. Yeah, he's about dead. Give me another Arcane Assault. Give me a Iconic Projection as well. Who's that? Projection? I guess so. Look different there. Um, Alright, yeah, let's go for the wave. Oh, you're you're poisoned? Okay, he's good now. Yes. Yeah, we really need a rest. Ripple sponge. Effects instant. Uh, instant. Oh. From sponges found along the rocky coasts of Rautai, ripple sponge is ground finely and inhaled. It's a drug. I'll see it done. It's finished. There we go. I bet the. I bet you that throne would let us rest. I really want to see what's down here first. How about this, what Gwyneth? Is it? 
Why don't you scout? Blade in the dark. A looter? How dare you? Um. Alright, Ed Air, you stay back. Hey. Cool pack night. Yeah, no, we need a. We need a rest first. There we go. I'll see what I can find. Now, would they actually try to talk to us? Probably not. Why don't we send you forward, Aloth? How may I help? With that fireball right about there. All right, everyone else. There you go. Get in there. Aloth, get back there. Um, and right there. There we go. That frightened them. Right? Yeah, for 13 seconds. Now, let's go ahead and get the Soul Shock. And... Ooh. Second level spells. Pillar of Faith. That one had the AoE, right? Knocks them prone. Let's use that on the, um, not on the looter. Where's the gold pack knight? There he is. Let's go ahead and use another. Actually, what's your guys' will like? 26? Treason Whisper. Did we get him? Nah, it's Ed Air. Screw it. Let's just get another Soul Shock in there. Oh no, Aloth. Did you, did you just backstab him? Bastard. Second win. And then, boom. And why not? Let's use Crucible of Soul. We're going to rest soon again anyways. And now... Waves? Yeah, let's get the crashing waves. Where it always changes the uh, amount of light in the area. Good, that one's down. All right, Aloth. Um, let's get another one. Oh, right on the gold pack, knight. There we go. Actually, why don't we all finish that one off? Very good. When did you switch weapons there, Gwyneth? Oh, I did for checking the, uh, for comparing the stiletto. Well, it is a stronger weapon than the bow. As you wish. Well, I don't know what the looters were looting, but... Also, how long have they been down here? Hmm. Trying to decide, should we go... 
Now this is level one. Is level two through there? Or is it there? I guess one way to find out is to actually try going. All right, let's see what happens. Where does this take us? Oh. Okay. Did, did I just not see that before? Or was it unlocked? Or, or was it locked back then? Well, fair enough. It's just like your breeches, scholar lad. No, I beg your pardon. <laughs> what? Nothing. I said nothing. You said something. Bit to slick your breeches, scholar lad. I don't think I... Uh... I like this music. Uh, I don't think I can actually uh, translate that. Bit to slick your breeches. Is he telling him you're, sh you're gonna... No... I'm not sure. I felt Mayor Walt's passing. You slew him. Well, the old fools broke me. Uh, several of him. Yeah. He gave me no choice. It saddens me to hear it. But part of me is grateful to no longer have to wait and worry in darkness. Yeah. I imagine so. This place has always known its master, long as it's had one. It has a will all its own, which has little to do with the castle and much to do with the land it's built on. Really? It looks to you as Mayor Wald's successor now, whether you care for it or not. I mean... A dubious honor, inheriting a fortress both broken and cursed. But in the right hands, it could be so much more. I look forward to building it up. If you had up. only seen it in its day, will you... Will you stay? No, the music is quite hopeful. Also quite loud compared to your voice. Um, Merold said that I must go to the City of Defiance in search of the Queen. What do I want to rule? I, I mean, I'd be lying if I said I haven't always wanted my own keep. Even a little cursed one. Yeah. I absolutely... I'm looking forward to building this place back up. You feel that same emanation of warmth and energy in the air. Then it is yours, my lady. I cannot begin to tell you how glad that is, how good it is to know that the keep is in capable hands once again. I promise to try not to go mad like Merwald did. I suppose I should mention first that if you mean to travel to Defiance Bay for supplies, there has been a complication of a kind. Uh-oh. Oh no. The Eastern Barbican collapsed decades ago, and Merewald never got around to rebuilding it. The road here is a dead end. He got as far as gathering materials before he became... preoccupied. Okay. I could make arrangements to have it repaired, if it is your will. When it ceased to be the previous master's will, I became powerless to do anything about it. But what am I but the master's or what am I but the master's instrument? If it would take time, but far less than finding another route to Defiance Bay. Well I mean seems I don't have much choice in the matter. How do I, I mean, let's get take care of this one. Your stronghold is now available. You can manage your stronghold at any time through the castle icon. How do I repair the Barbican? Uh, what does being the master of Kednoa entail? Why, there are many responsibilities involved in maintaining a keep. The, ex the extent to which you wish to get involved is entirely up to you, of course. Part of the reason I am here is to ensure that things run smoothly in your absence, provided we have been given instruction. I mean, I would like to be a little involved. I could at least help you sweep up a little. 
If you instruct me on which repairs you wish to conduct next, I will make the necessary arrangements. These may take some time to finish, but each will provide you with additional resources once they are complete. Given somewhere to place them, we can hire tradesmen to provide you with supplies or ingredients. Oh. Perfect. Repairing the keep will raise your prestige and draw both helpful individuals and unwelcome attention from bandits and opportunists. Oh, we'll have to protect our castle then. That sounds like fun. We can raise the keep's uh, security in turn. This will become less of a concern. And if we can't, we'll, well, suffer getting looted. You should know, however, that the position does come with some risk. Your name will grow in fame, and you must contend with threats to the keep. And then, there are other things. What other things, steward? Was there anything else, my lady? What other things? What did you mean by risks? Merold's curse was his own. A watcher's curse. But his predecessors have not fared better. There is a presence within the keep, or rather, far beneath it. Oh... It definitely a mega dungeon. What are we going to find beneath it? At least, such has been the conclusion drawn by all those who have come to it, come to this place. For that, for what spirits still linger in the endless paths oft speak of a master below. Every effort to settle here has failed. From the time of our Adairn colonists onward, beasts rise from the endless path, paths until the new lord or lady is no more. The one who dwells below, this master, does not tolerate rivals, it seems. I have seen, from time to time, intrepid explorers descend to lay claim to what answers they can, but none return. This is the force which has kept Ked Nua a barren ruin and robbed me of my hopes. We'll have to deal with it sooner or later, then. The endless paths. That, my friend, is where I must go. Where we must go, if you will go with me. Whatever devils lie beneath. Think, too, what knowledge we will find. Perhaps this master speaks a Durin. So that's what you're after, then, is it, Kana? Fair enough. Who is this master below? I could not say with any certainty. I believe it must be tied to the man who said to have been the architect of the Endless Paths, the Inquithan Tyrant, Odd Nua. Oh, did he build the place? Uh, the entire place of Ked Nua? Some claim his spirit endures, or at least has laid a curse upon the site. I cannot imagine be, uh, much remains of his work. The ruins have been here a thousand years or more. It's impressive that this place still stands so well. That is what what is left is impressive. The Earl certainly thought so. You may have seen while below the hand of the great statue Odd Nua constructed. Perhaps it is a statue of Odd Nua himself. I'd have to go back double double check. I don't recall seeing a hand. But am I not the master of Ked Nua? Of course you are. The keep would have no other. But the endless paths are a different thing entirely. So the Kedno is just built on them. It is unfortunate, really, that they are, are so closely entwined. If the master below is not dealt with, there will always be a threat to get the keep from within. I... I know it is much to take in. But if you would remain, if you would master this place, then I can only advise you to seek out this foe before it destroys you. What are the Endless Paths? The Endless Paths of Odd Nua. That is the name given to the labyrinth beneath the keep. The Earl, he... We were warned by the Clan Fathans that this site was cursed. There was a legend attached to it. Though at the time we thought nothing of it. The ruins were built, it is said, by a powerful Ngwithan named Odd Nua, who ruled him there until his people turned against him. They destroyed his endless paths and filled many of the upper tunnels in with soil and a stone. Huh. Not completely, it seems, or maybe this odd new cleared them somehow. 
No one living knows how far down the tunnels stretch, and few have ventured there. That few who have ventured there have returned. There is much talk of riches and treasure. The promises of Anguithan ruin relics alone has drawn many fortune seekers to their deaths. I fear. I did find some looters there, and it was to their deaths. Yes, how can I help? Um, how do I repair the Barbican? Merwald set aside materials for the Barbican. They are still available to you. In the future, if you wish to make further repairs to the keep, you will need coin for supplies and labor. Well, damn. Guess I shouldn't use all my money, then. Guess it's time to find this queen in the City of Defiance. Well, first I need to repair the Barbican, it seems. You must know, this queen you are looking for, Defiance Bay has no queen. The Mequins of Adair have, haven't reigned here since the war. Really? The only queen with any power here is what? Ah, the goddess. Wadika. I am told they erected an exquisite temple in her honor there. But I was never able to see it. I wonder if it's a, uh, uh, a uh, theocratic state then. The priestly ruling class. If you mean to go there, we can get started right away on repairing the Barbican. You need only tell me what you wish to do, and I'll make the necessary arrangements. Merold kept a ledger, as it happens, and I have taken the liberty of updating it. You could take a look, if you wish. All right, let me see. Then we'll get underway at once. The steward's, <laughs> the steward's voice belies a giddy excitement. No, my lord, that this is but the first and least of a great many undertakings. The keep supported a great many buildings and servants for many years. Don't worry there, steward. We will, in fact, make this place a wonderful keep. I guess I'm technically a lord now, are I not? I rule these lands. If you, if you should wish it, we can repair some of the outlying structures, and these will bring you wealth and recognition. That wealth will be useful for further repairing the place, too. Drawing people to your service. Rebuilding the defenses will keep your grounds from becoming overrun, as they did under Merwald's keeping. Right. All important. I wonder if any of the people that will draw in will be recruitable party members. You need not choose all at once. I am pledged to, t uh, pledged to your aid. And so long as you are master here, we shall always be linked. You need not step upon these grounds to speak with me. Wherever your travels may take you, you can make your will known to me if you but reach out. Oh, that's nice. I could constantly be micromanaging the place without having to return. Not that I don't want to return to see the progress, of course. Oh, but first, of course, the Barbican. Yes, the Barbican. Oh, wow. A lot of repairs to make. Some much more expensive than the others. Upgrades to your stronghold. Cost... Can I move that? No. Cost money and time. Take time to complete. Each upgrade can add security or prestige to the stronghold. Or add additional functionality like resting bonuses. Nice. Periodic free crafting ingredients. Or new stores. All nice. So... So the upgrades, of course, actions, upgrades, hirelings, party management. Turn one, nothing new to report. Turn two, nothing to new, new to report. So this is, is this a basically daily log of uh, reports of what's happening here then? So no events currently pending. Events occur at the Stronghold as time elapses. The higher Stronghold's prestige, the more positive the events tend to be. However, high security is also important, as it can help prevent theft and kidnappings. Adventurers are opportunists for... Wait. Adventurers are opportunities for your companions and adventurers to earn experience while they aren't in the party. Well, that's nice. 
Vis visitors can affect security and prestige in this stronghold while they are present. Some events offer even rare items for sale during limited periods of time. So important to keep a uh, to keep track. I wonder if the um it'll let me know when events, especially if they're time sensitive, pop up. Hirelings. You must build a barracks to recruit hirelings. Hirelings help defend your stronghold from expensive collateral damage in the unfortunate event of an attack. They cost money to maintain, but their cost usually offsets the potential for damage, which is important. Hirelings also contribute to the security and prestige of the stronghold, sometimes negatively. Right. So, be careful who you hire, in other words. Um, yeah. I imagine the uh, savings from not having to repair things probably makes whatever ongoing cost more than worth it. We still have one more slot. Right, let's repair the Eastern Barbican then. So that one's one prestige and two security. The Eastern Barbican gates passage to the wooden wood end plains, the crossroads between Kenua, Dareford, Dareford, and Fiance Bay. No time? Oh no, yeah, I guess not that one. And then that one was for free, I think. These others, though. It'll take a long time to get through. And perhaps when we build some, it'll unlock others. Oh yeah. Requires main key, western barbican, etc. We should build one more, then. Let's see. Bright Hollow Restoration. Restoring Bright Hollow will allow you to rest there. Other upgrades can unlock resting bonuses for it. The main keep. Upgrading the main keep will repair your Great Hall, allowing visitors and adventurers to ava be available to you and your companions. I mean, that seems like an obvious place to start, but that would use up, like, all of my, uh, money which is less good i do have things to sell though so yeah that's prestige and security wait a minute one is from upgrades but two is from miscellaneous what the what is the miscellaneous from oh well strange i'm not gonna complain though um what about the other ones we can build right now the Warden's Lodge holds or watches over the wilds near the stronghold. Upgrading the lodge will grant a bonus to the survival skill upon resting at Bright Hollow as well as provide access to the Warden who offers high-level bounties. That's very nice. The Woodland Trails surround the domain of your keep. Upgrading them will grant a constitution an athletics bonus from resting at Bright Hall. Seems that if these stack, after it's fully upgraded, well, resting here will be quite valuable. Yeah. It seems that the, um, I mean, both of these are good, but uh, it seems the main keep should be our priority. Let's actually go ahead and restore it. But yeah, because we have stuff we can sell. Well. All right then, Stuart, we will be on our way. Well, actually, I suppose we'll, we'll be on our way next time. The Hollowing of Darewood. Okay, this is about the Temple of Wood. This is the main quest line, basically. And then otherwise, we have the Master Below, which is probably dangerous, and we should probably tackle it little by little. Kind of like the Watcher's Keep in uh, Baldur's Gate, actually. <laughs> this is even called the Watcher's Keep, isn't it? That's that's great. Um, time and Tide. Oh, this is for Kana, yeah. 
or whatever he wants to find down there. Bring Edir to speak with Merwald. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay, I was gonna say, Merwald's kind of dead now. Did we fail this quest? But yeah, he wasn't in the position to answer questions, so Edir will probably talk to us later about that. And then, of course, Durance's quest line. All right. Well, we have our next path to the uh, Defiance Bay, where I might find the Leaden Key, the whatever that organization is. Presumably, the organization that we saw, that or rather that the people we saw near the ruins belong to. Never far from the queen, never far from Wodeka. Wodeka. Ooh, actually, you know what? Let me, before we go, I'll double check what deity she was for. Right. Right, right, right. We looked uh, that up before. I think. The goddess of vengeance. Vengeance. 